So we will be carrying on with our uh, course, Introduction to uh, Railway Systems, and we have reached Chapter 2, and this is the first lecture in Chapter 2, and Chapter 2 will be talking about rolling stock systems and its subsystem. So this is a very comprehensive uh, chapter that talks about different topics that is associated with rolling stock. So without further ado, let's start by looking at some of the course content. So this is the beginning of the chapter. And let, let us just start from the beginning. Yes, so railway ro rolling stock. And rolling stock is the concept that is associated with vehicles, locomotives, and carriages. So in this course, we'll be doing another introduction to the lecturer, but I think by now you should be very familiar with your lecturer. You can also have a look at our transportmen and frasnasser.com. So, uh, uh, and you can, I will re mention the uh, credentials again. And in this chapter, we'll be talking about introduction to rolling stock subsystems, like the traction subsystem, the suspension subsystem, the, even the uh, um, body materials. We'll be talking about the lighting, the, the, for example, concepts like aerodynamics and uh, vehicle dynamics. In the section two, we'll be talking about body shell materials and their construction. Section three, we'll be talking about railway vehicle dynamics, Th those equations that governs the interaction between the railway and the, uh, the vehicle. In section four, we'll be talking about railway aerodynamics. Air, uh, the, railway, the trains has to go through an air envelope, and this will result in uh, energy loss as well as a drag force. How we can understand the impact of aerodynamics on railways and how we can design aerodynamic friendly ra uh, railways and other aerodynamics issues. In section five, we'll be talking about railway active suspension system. In section six, we'll be talking about the wheel rail interface. This interface, we talked about the, the railway is a system consists of a number of interfaces. One of them is uh, vehicle uh, uh, to infrastructure, one of them is vehicle to platform, and one of the most important interfaces or vehicle bantograph or vehicle to vehicle, but, but one of the most important one is interfaces is the rail wheel interfaces where all the load happened on this dime kind of a small coin size, the contact batch. And in section seven, we'll be talking about freight vehicle design and performance. In section eight, we'll be talking about maintenance of rolling stock. And in section nine, we'll be talking about vehicle acceptance. So the lecturer is the legend for us. Now, so why the legend? We talked about the long story of that young man who travels from a country of, ro of no railways to, uh, to study railways, get a, get, become, uh, become a distinct, uh, got the highest grades and come back and try to promote some of his innovation and uh, uh, does not get any acceptance and tries again with a new innovation, tries again, and now he builds a, a railway course. So, that, so that's kind of a passionate young individual who keeps trying in spite of a very uh, uh, a seriously bad environment. This is the kind of character that we want to create in the future, the heroes of tomorrow. So let us start with this chapter and the first section, rolling stock introduction and subsystems. So what are the rolling stock subsystems? Well, there are many, many subsystems, but in this section, we'll be discussing the rolling stock as a system and its functions. What are the functions that every railway rolling stock should achieve? Every vehicle should achieve propel, brake, carry, protect, We'll be looking at these in more details. Elements of railway vehicle, what does a railway vehicle consist of? We'll be talking about railway rolling stock selection issues, and we'll be talk talking about railway rolling stock service characteristics. The service characteristics of a metro is different than the railway characteristics of an intercity train, and it's different than the characteristics of a high-speed rail. Can't the, this super elevation, this is small angle on curves that make sure that you have a balance with centrifugal force, Bogies, this, uh, uh, this uh, body, this uh, metal body that connects the two axles together and make sure that the suspension uh, forces are being transmitted in the right way. Wheel sets, the wheel itself, we'll be talking about the wheels, suspension systems as well. 
uh, the, the springs, the dampers, and the active suspension system. Body shell, body shell and body material, the body that, uh, that makes the vehicle, what kind of materials it consists of. We'll be talking about air systems such as brake and others, electric systems, power electronics, and uh, how uh, different uh, electrical systems are being uh, added to the vehicle. Power collection, doors, lighting and climate control, communication and passenger information systems, water provision and waste management, toilets are important, as well as having water for these toilets, emergency, other systems. Uh, so the rolling stock as a system and its functions, there are six functions that every vehicle should achieve. The first one is carry, second one is protect, third one is propel, brake, sense, actuate, and carry to carry passengers and goods in a safe manner, protect to protect them, propel to make sure that you can accelerate and overcome aerodynamic friction, rolling stock resistance, and gradient resistance. So the rolling stock resistance, there are three kinds of resistance, the aerodynamics, the resistance between the wheel and the rail, the rolling uh, resistance, as well as the gradient resistance. And we'll be doing some calculations in this course. We'll be talking about uh, braking, how trains should be able to brake even on a downward slope. We'll be talking about sense that the train must be able to receive information, could be from a signaling system or else actuate, the train should be able to deliver information to the signaling system, such as actuating axle counters and track circuits. So what are the types of, of propulsion for rolling stock? There are two types, one the locomotive and the, uh, the, the locomotive type, and the locomotive carries uh, all the carriages and drag all the carriages with that. And this is very famous in the States where you have many freight vehicles. And there is the multiple units and the multiple units where you can have small arrangements and you can have multiple motors uh, distributed across the train. So the first one has a great level of flexibility. And by flexibility, we mean that you can add the any number of carriages uh, to the locomotive and you can just drag that and you can calculate the traction effort. And based on that, you can, know, you can see how many uh, carriages you can add. The second one is that it's safer for passengers and the people say because the locomotive is far from the other carriages, it will be quieter. Also, locomotive must have a, 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 a must be heavy to, to, to make a great generative tractive effort. The multiple units means the motors are distributed or the traction effort is distributed across different vehicles. So the load is the tractive a load or the traction effort is distributed across carriages. Trains mass is used for traction, no wasted passenger volume. I think this is uh, one of the uh, benefits that you don't have wasted passenger volume. And by that, we mean the, locom the locomotives takes part of the space for the passengers. So now you can, uh, you can uh, utilize the locomotive by having multiple units, but also you can have short form motions. It's not economical to have one locomotive and maybe one, uh, one uh, carriage. It's, it's much more economical to have three carriages that are multiple units. So short formation definitely is much better for multiple units and change of formations. And rolling stock selection issues, in the, this is, we'll be talking about this in the next section. That was a very quick introduction on uh, rolling stock systems. Uh, we'll be looking at this in more details in the coming uh, section. Uh, through rolling stock selection issues and other topics. Have a great evening.